Welcome to Damasala, at least the airport anyway. We took the 610 flight on SpiceJet, so now it's uh, almost eight. There are no taxis here. I reached out through booking to our uh, hotel. They didn't, were unresponsive, so now it looks like we're stuck through one of these prepaid taxis. Ugh. See if that's gonna cost an arm and a leg. Find out. No, hotel name not showing here. Yeah, the hotel name, The Nest. The Nest, okay. Uh, from here to Nest, like 1,050 rupees. 50 rupees <gasps> here and 1,000 after dropping. 1,000? <laughs> yeah, 1,000. The thing is that the price will be fixed by the government. Ah, yeah, the government we says. Yeah, we can't change the price. Okay, well, let me get my wallet real quick. Sure, you can take the time. Okay. It was actually 1,050, so 50. So we paid now, we'll pay 1,000 when we get there. And if you wanted AC, they would charge 200 extra. So we're like, no AC. All right, I'll follow you, this guy. Yeah, extra for AC. I said, no thanks. AC in the car or? AC in the car, we're gonna roll the windows down, I guess. Okay, well, I mean, the temperatures do feel cooler to me. It's, it's not cold or cool by any stretch, but it's definitely cooler here than Delhi. So we are heading to the Nest Hotel. Kind of a moderately priced hotel compared to others that we saw, uh, but certainly not the most expensive. So I messaged them a couple of times via booking, unresponsive, so we'll see how that goes. Okay. It's now 8.30 in the morning. We just arrived at Hotel The Nest. Let's see if they're prepared for us. Uh, we are four hours early, but it looks good. They got a pool table, ping pong. Excited about that? Yep. Very nice. All right, let's see what else we can find. Hello guys, how you doing? Two rooms. Two rooms. Okay, so a little uh, snap through at the front desk. They actually don't take credit cards at this hotel to pay the balance. So the front desk clerk here ran me to an ATM. So I would do the proper amount. Uh, and I'm getting a little preview of the town, which, you know, it's, it looks pretty closed up right now. There's only nine in the morning on a Saturday. So I imagine all this market stuff will be open at some point or another year soon enough. But it's much cooler up here, which is which is nice to get out of the deli heat. But now back to the hotel to pay the balance and see the rooms. The rooms, we ended up getting two rooms. And what's great is those guys totally let us check in at 930. It was no problem checking in early. So kudos to the hotel about that. So we have two rooms. Uh, each room is pretty much identical. In fact, that's the kids room over there. So king size bed. Pretty standard workspace, a sitting area, wardrobe back here, and a nice bathroom that's actually separated with glass. So when you do take a shower, I imagine the water won't be going everywhere like uh, some of the other places we've stayed at in India. So I think the better feature of the room though, however, is just outside. That, of course, is the view. So we have a whole patio to ourselves, which is uh, quite lovely. And they call this the Mountain View Room. That's pretty good, I think. So we'll definitely be having coffee out here in the morning. Show you the kids' room again. It's pretty much the same as our room, pretty much identical. I had a nap, actually, earlier. We had to wake up at 3.30 to get to the uh, Delhi airport in time. And thankfully we did because it was a big mess checking in. Here's the kids' room. Again, same thing, just opposite. And there are patios out that door. There's a general sitting area out here too. This is, this is just sort of open to anybody right here. But we are flying on Spice Jet. And Spice Jet was interesting. <sighs> well, first off... Even to get the security, like out of all the people traveling through, they really harped on us. They pulled us aside, they grabbed all our bags. We had to go through almost every bit of luggage of ours, like saying, they were, the security was like, well, do you have knives? No, we don't have knives. So they're open up all the bags. So we had to open up Kelly's bag, my bag, 
even my like carrier side satchel here, my computer bag, pulled out everything. They were looking at the GoPro batteries for a long time. They were, uh, they pulled out my Bose headphones and asked me if they were e-cigarettes. I'm like, no, they're, head they're headphones, clearly headphones. Whatever, that, so that took about 30 minutes, I, th I think, of um, kind of dealing with security. But what's funny is we actually flew with all these liquids. We have a shampoo, conditioner, suntan lotion. Here's like shower body wash, 300 mil. I think you're only allowed, only allowed to have like 100 mil per bottle. So we had all that stuff. That went through totally fine. It was just our bags, so whatever. Uh, then the, like the ticket process was annoying. So they made me basically, they wouldn't issue me a boarding pass on paper unless I wanted to spend an additional 200 rupees for the paper pass. So I was like, well, all right, how do I not spend that? So I had to go to the website, I had to log in, get my boarding pass electronically. Well, the problem is you have to enter a phone number to get your electronic tickets. And all I have is my US based phone number or my Indonesian phone number, which the SIM card's not in anyway. So I was putting in phone numbers, it was rejected. Finally, some like maintenance guy put in his phone number, then that worked. Anyway, it was uh, quite the to-do. By the time we actually got onto the plane, the I had been logged out of my boarding pass session, so I didn't actually have boarding passes to get onto the plane. The guy at the plane was chastising me, he's like, well, you don't have boarding passes? I'm like, I do have boarding passes. How do you think I got through all the steps to get to the plane? I mean, I'm talking, like the actual getting onto the plane part, not just like through the gate. Anyway, whatever, finally got onto the plane. Now we're here. So anyway, like I was just saying, we ended up, all, everyone crashed out for about two hours. So now we're gonna show you town. We're gonna go get some lunch. Okay, so basically again, it is great pool table, ping pong table. That'll keep uh, the kids happy for quite a while. You guys ready for lunch? All right, so I was just reminiscing about our interesting airport experience. So you had uh, some situations as well beyond like the bags and all that. I was dealing with the bags. Meanwhile, Kelly, what were you dealing with? Yeah, so what are you doing with the bags and the uh, the app to get into this? The government app? Yes. <laughs> to get in, uh, uh, there's like female lines and male lines, but right. they were all mixed when we got there. So we could, you know, there's male and female in all different lines for the check-in. And then, uh, uh, so then I went to the female line to check in and she wouldn't let me carry Forrest through. And then she made me go back out of line to put the baby carrier through the scanner. Which so the ergo itself had to be scanned. The ergo had to be okay. scanned. So I, mean, I had to go wait all the way back into the checkout lane. All again, get a little bucket and everything. And then, uh, then I went back. First I had to find him to get the baby. I was, it was just, it's just like a lot of stress when you're already traveling at, you know, wake up at three in the morning. And then you get to an airport and then like it's just like all these little steps to add on plus you have the kids it's just like yeah oh, i'm glad we're here <laughs> glad we're here now and i'm so I, glad we're here i will say it is much cooler now than delhi it is so it, this, yeah yeah it's, it's, it, it doesn't even feel like india it feels like no yeah i maybe so i mean it's definitely green it's definitely mountainous uh, our hotel is somewhat off the main drag so anywhere we go will be a bit of a walk but that's actually probably a good thing just to like stretch our legs a little bit and get some exercise. So we're here in McLeod is how we're gonna call it. That might not it's be. Well, we'll ask, but yeah. It's basically more north of the city proper zone of uh, Dharmasala. And the reason we're here is the Tibetan temples. This is the big spot for a lot of uh, Tibetan temples. Dalai Lama yep, Dalai stays Lama. here yep. um, since his whole uh, the exile and all that from China. So, you know, maybe we'll bump into the Dalai Lama. That would be so awesome. We'll see. Maybe not, but you never know. So either way, we are going to walk down the main drag. There's a market here we'll check out at some point. But either way, it is cool. Lots of like nice, I don't know, artwork, Tibetan related figurines. Uh, I did see some monks. I yeah. assume they're monks, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, walking around, so that was pretty cool. So, essentially in McLeod, as far as I can gather, there is one main road. And a bunch of offshoots off of that. Guy's got the sewer open there, gross. Anyway, one main road, 
and it is all basically uphill off that main road are where you find all your side streets but i think basically it's not a big town at all it's definitely one major thoroughfare but the good news about it being all uphill this way is after lunch you have to check out a temple or two it'll be downhill on the way Ay ay ay. Doing good, Cal? Yeah. All right. So much. Yeah, forest getting a bit bigger for that ergo. All right, well, up we go, you guys. Up we go. So just as we approach the top of the hill, you're noticing now there's a lot more cafes, eateries, numerous restaurants, tour offices. I thought I saw like a thrift store. Back there, a couple of dudes playing guitar. Some kind of Tibetan art shop, I suppose. Little knickknack store. These are all over the place, filled with Coke, sodas, chips, stuff like that. More traditional clothing stores there. Yeah, it's great. I think um, there is a main market area and I believe we're going to kind of walk through it as we get to our restaurant for lunch. Lots of crazy cords, typical style here. The Gu Chun Sum Movement Association of Tibet. Right there, there it is. Yeah, looking, looking like a nice place to be for a few days. So now we enter what I'm guessing is the main drag here, the main strip of the market. More hotels, all types of touristy, souvenir stuff, clothing. Yeah, more sports clothes. It's definitely a, a, a touristy place here with this market. All right, lots of restaurants So, and we look on Google, many of them are rated very well, very high. So I have a hunch you can pretty much pick any of these eateries and you're going to have a decent meal. You know, certainly a lot of masala shops like that one right there. So this again is the main drag through town, Four Seasons, I read about that place. Ideally, we try to find restaurants that have people, hello, sir, hello. I don't know, they say namaste here? Seems like they would, but I haven't heard anyone say it, so I'm not gonna start yelling out namaste. But it is kind of cool to be on the back side of the Himalayas. Like we were in Pakistan and Nepal. This is a huge mountain range. Oh, it's a game store, game store bookstore. That's kind of cool. A lot more knickknacks and jewelry. Yeah, it's a nice place. Ooh, a barber shop, cool. Force might need a haircut here at some point. Okay. Looks like a somewhat of a fruit grocery store, fruit and veg grocery store. A lot of these fruit markets right off the side of the road, but this is more of a store. Oh, looks pretty good. Okay, well, a busy place. Ah, oh, a little dog. So here I believe is our first temple we're gonna bypass this maybe come back to it but eat some lunch first so as we work our way to our restaurant we discovered pizza hut which that alone you know wouldn't one wouldn't expect to see but then they've got a momo mama pizza it's a pizza with momos in it like the stuffed crust pizza but with momos so all types of surprises here in McLeod. all right i think we're going in the right direction uh for the restaurant we're going to should be just up ahead. All right, we've made it to our restaurant. And when you think India and you think Tibet, the first place that must come to mind is uh, Jimmy's Italian Kitchen. You guys ready for some pizza? Yeah. yeah. All right, in you go. Jimmy's Italian Pizza is our first meal in McLeod. I think it's yes. quite fitting. Yes. After this crazy day we've had. I think so. So, Jimmy's <laughs> Italian Kitchen. I bet they have momos. Now, will they have 
Momo's on the pizza, oh, like at Pizza Hut. We'll find out. What's wrong? Oh, there's a ladybug. Got it. Um, okay, guys, should we sit window side? Definitely. Wow, the view's where it's at. The view. Yeah, the view's quite lovely. Hello, how are you, sir? Oh, it looks like good, good desserts, huh? Some blueberry cheesecake. Looks outstanding. Okay. All right. Hopefully the pizza is dynamite. I think it is. The people on, online tend to like this place. Lunch has been served and it's quite a variety of dishes. Uh, Forrest, how's your cheese pizza? Good? Four cheese pizza. And Kelly, you're sharing that with him, huh? Yeah, it's Tasty. delicious. Well, I got a vodka pasta and a Greek salad. And Cedar Green, you guys got like uh, chicken toasties, yeah? Yeah. Are they good? Yep. Pretty tasty? Yeah. yeah. Fries are good anyway, yeah? Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, it's quite the spread. Uh, Forrest, you want a pasta? No, it's my bed. You want one? Oh, it's piping hot. Mmm. <laughs> That is so good. I would have never guessed that in McLeod we'd be eating uh, such good Italian themed, Greek themed, toasty themed food. Not bad? Yeah, not bad. Cool. All right, cool, cool. Well, we will uh, enjoy the, the lunch. It's gonna definitely hit the spot. Oh, you took one of my garlic breads. No, hey, you thief. This. Oh, you want this one? You want, you want my garlic bread? All right, I'll take this one back. Okay, well, <laughs> bon appetit. Total bill in the pizza place, 2,289 rupees. So we ordered a lot of food, had some specialty drinks, and it really, if I would say, hit the spot. And now, just walking back towards the hotel, we're gonna pass at least one temple. So might as well start with the temple, huh? Yes. All right, so we'll go uh, head that way back towards the hotel. It's like a 20 minute walk between the pizza place and the hotel. So it actually felt pretty good. And we're on the downhill side of the walk now. Yes. So even better now that the sun's out. <laughs> yep, it was sweaty. Yeah, but you can see the market really stretches even beyond the main drag. It uh, sort of splinters off. So, Lots to see, a nice place. I think we're all interested in mostly just sitting and relaxing for the next couple of days. First, I don't know if this is actually a temple or if this is just like one of these uh, prayer wheels type places. There's a dog, big fat dog. But yeah, so we'll see if this is more of a, a complex of this or if it's just spinning these uh, karma wheels here. We did learn while we were in Nepal that you're supposed to go around these things clockwise. So there is that little takeaway. We just saw some other people going counterclockwise. So they were not in the know. Wow, so just off the hall, yeah, this bad boy. There's the Dalai Lama. Lots of little statues. Sweet. Oh, we're supposed to go three times. I think so. Yeah, three times. See, I remember that one as well from Nepal. So there's, that was, that was two. And there's the bell over there. Three. Cool. A little donation. Let's see what's in here. Oh wow. I think we're going. Hello. Hello. It's okay to come in and see. Namaste. See, Kelly said namaste. I was debating if that was proper etiquette. So the big indoor stupa. There's a monk. 
praying in here? Can we check that out, Cedar? I wouldn't necessarily go like, into the room, but it's up to it. Cool, huh? So definitely an active temple. I, I thought it might have just been the uh, spinning wheels, but this is uh, in use for sure. The indoor stupa. Yeah, nice place. I wonder what those guys are cooking. Hello. Oh, certainly some kind of shapes. The heck out as we go. Tree vendors, certainly a ton of momos in there. I imagine it's mostly veg. Ooh, fried potatoes. And then on this, the other side, there's also a market on this side too. So there's markets really all over the place. Okay, what'd you guys think? Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's kind of cool to see them, I think, like praying yeah. or chanting of some sort. Oh, thank you. Yeah, good times, huh? Didn't, eh? didn't want to miss any of them. No, every single one. Good job, Forrest. <laughs> okay, so not bad. Uh, that was cool, yeah. Hey, where'd it go? I liked it. I like it.